Hi, I'm Paul Delios, and today we're going to make apple cinnamon cider donuts uh, brought to you from Cane's Donuts in Saugus, Mass. This is uh, an original recipe that my dad has uh, been making for 50 years now plus, and this is the same recipe that we make at the donut shop. So let's begin. We have a couple of cups of flour in our bowl. We have a little bit of graham flour that we're going to add in, some sugar, baking soda, baking powder, fresh nutmeg, cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. We'll whisk all of this together. This is our dry ingredients. Then we'll add it in to our uh, mixing, machi uh, mixing machine. We'll put it on low. We'll begin to add our liquid. We're going to start off with the buttermilk. We'll add our melted butter, the apple cider fresh from the farm, vanilla, and then we're going to add our egg yolks. It's as simple as that. We'll scrape the bowl down by hand just to make sure that we have everything well incorporated in the bottom of the bowl. Give it a couple of turns. And that's pretty much it. And we'll grab some of the plastic wrap, put that over the top. And then we'll see you in about 15 minutes. So we've taken our apple uh, cinnamon cider donut mix out of the uh, fridge. It's rested for about 15 minutes. We're just going to take and, and empty it from the bowl onto a uh, bench that's got a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour on it. Okay, now going from the plastic scraper you want to have one of these items. This is just a, a bench scraper. You can get it in any uh, kitchen store. A tomato can, a tomato paste can. If you don't have a donut cutter, you can use this. You can count, cut out little round discs with this. Or in the kitchen store, you can get little round cutters as well. And if you really want to do what I do, I use a regular donut cutter. So first thing we do, we grab a little more of our bench flour, put it on top, and with our hands, we're just going to work it out. With our scraper, we're going to bring it over, and what's happening right now is we're incorporating a little bit more of the dry flour in with this. Because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is you'll have too wet of a dough and your donuts are going to come out greasy. And that's the last thing we want to do. Somebody's going to complain to you, hey, these things taste lousy. You don't want to do that. So let's get a little bit of that flour incorporated in. We'll stiffen it up. You put a couple of folds onto it like I'm doing right now. And you can see it's, it's become a lot more uh, rigid. And we'll take our rolling pin. A lot of people have trouble sometimes. The rolling pin will stick a little bit. Just dip your hand in a little bit of the flour, rub it on the pin, roll it out. You want to get this dough out to probably about a half of an inch in thickness. Now that we've done that, we're going to take a little bit more flour Put it on the top. We're going to take our cutter. Make sure you put the, the cutter in with a little bit of flour because we don't want that to stick. And remember, we're working with a wet dough. Now, if you notice, here's what I have. Put that on there. We're going to put the holes on there because 
some members of the family might be watching their weight and they want to have just something small. Some of us like to have a little something bigger. So I'm going to cut out about eight of these right now. You should get out of this mix about, I want to say, 12 to 18 of these. Okay, so now that we've cut all our donuts, we're going to begin by putting them in the uh, fry kettle. And this is at about 365. And again, if you have this at home, you, you know, you might, you might be uh, taking a little bit longer because it's on top of the stove and depending on what the application is. This generally takes a couple of minutes per side on these, uh, what we call cake style donuts. And um, at home, it could take you maybe another 30 seconds to a minute longer on each side. Don't be afraid. Let them cook, let them get a little crispy. They're meant to get crispy. You just don't want a raw donut inside. Otherwise, you'll hear them complaining at the table. Lay them down right in the basket. Now hold them right above the shortening. Kind of float them in there. You don't want to submerge them all the way in. You could, but you're not going to get the little square marks on them that we're looking to get. And what's going to happen with those square marks, that's what's going to allow you uh, a, a place for your cinnamon sugar. It's the nooks and crannies that your cinnamon sugar is going to catch in. And that's what we're looking for. We want to have a little bit of that crunch from the donut, a little bit of the crunch from the cinnamon sugar sitting inside those nooks and crannies. So now that we have it, you can see there's a crust developing on the outside of these, and that's what we're looking for. So now I'm going to set this down, and you see how they just float right up, and now they're starting to poof? This is the magic of the donut happening. Do you remember that little donut holes that we had? We're going to just pop a couple of them in there. Be careful so you don't burn yourself. Pop a few in there. Those are, those are really nice. The, the little kids like those, even us big kids. But uh, those will come up. You don't have to be too fussy with those. And you can fit a few of these in here. It's not a problem. Take your chopsticks, the extension of your fingers. Turn them over. You see that nice crust that we got over there? That, that Look at that. These are cooking up beautiful. They really are. The fact is I could sell these at the donut shop, they're coming out so good. Really nice. Okay, so we're ready to take these out. The donut holes, not to worry, they can be a little bit lighter because they're a smaller um, cut, so they're fine the way they are. We want to we want to strain those off, straining them off. We're going to grab our cinnamon sugar, we're just going to dump them right in it. Don't be afraid of, of doing that. We're going to come right over here. Again, hot, but use what nature gave you. She gave you, Mother Nature gave you these nice fingers. Use them. Sprinkle that cinnamon sugar over them. See what I'm doing here? I'm sprinkling that cinnamon sugar right on top. Oh, look at that. Look at, okay, here we are. Apple cinnamon cider donuts. Our recipe from Cane's. And don't forget, when you've got some scrap dough left over, don't be afraid to turn them into some crullers. It's good old-fashioned New England dessert.